Walter of Maryland. And we are going to be lucky as we see the, the man to round out our simmering list here on Heavyweight Explosion, Hasim. That's Mark Young. Bit of a trial horse type of fighter tonight. Give Rockman some very good work. He's been with him, in with everybody. Don't let his record fool you. Very experienced fighter. He's been with Zelko Maravik, Shannon Briggs. How about Mike Tyson? Nicholson, Mike Tyson. Buster Mathis Jr., Jeremy Williams. And there's Rock Raman. One of the more impressive young fighters around today, also trained by Jenks Mort. Well, as a stepping stone, Mark Young is used to being stepped on. At one point uh, from 1992 through last year, he lost all 11 fights, Arnie. And had not won since 92. He was basically 0 for 93, 4 and 5. Last May, he lost a 10-rounder to Boone Paltz, former contender. Not in heavyweight division, of course. Well, Hasim Rockman, though, one of the more promising up-and-comers, and we're going to hear about him as we go up to our ring announcer, Mark Bureau. Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Kushner Promotions, Players Island Casino and Hotel in Lake Charles, Louisiana, and Corona Extra La Cerveza Mas Fina presents eight rounds heavyweights. Your referee for this event from Folsom, Louisiana, Paul Sida. Introducing now the principals first in the blue corner to my left, wearing the blue trunks with white trim, weighing in at 237 pounds, with a professional record of 14 victories, 30 defeats. He has two draws and nine wins by way of knockout. He hails from Charlotte, North Carolina. Here is Mark Overy Young. Young. His opponent in the red corner, wearing the black trunks, Weighing in at 234 and a half pounds, he is undefeated in 15 professional bouts. He has 13 by way of knockout. He hails from Baltimore, Maryland, but now makes his home in Houston, Texas. Here is Hasim the Rock Rockman. Rockman. Eight rounds heavyweights. Schedule for eight, but don't leave your seat. <laughs> Rockman, a devastating puncher. 13 knockouts and 15 wins. And again, the Louisiana rules tonight, 10 point must in effect, standing eight count in effect, three knockdown rule in effect. Only the referee can stop the fight, and you can be saved by the bell only in the last round. Jinx Morton giving last second instructions to Hasib Rahman as we start one. round number one. Schedule for eight, it's Rahman in the black. Mark Young. Well-known trial horse comes in with a 14 and 30 record. Take a good He's look in at the Mark. Blue shorts with Take the white a good tread. look at Mark Young because you're not going to see him here very long. Raman only been the distance twice in his career. The first time in his schedule 10 against Ross Purity. Other distance fight way back in his early in his career, March '95. Jeff Williams in a four round. Young landing a nice overhand right. Very patient fighter, Hasim Rahman. And you see Rock, Shows. excuse me, you see Rock trying to get him to lower those arms so then he can go upstairs with that power right hand. He shows an amazing amount of poise though for a fighter with only 15 professional fights. And he really feels he's ready to step up. He's gonna fight Jesse Ferguson September 12th on a TVKO card. That's our main event on our September 12th Heavyweight Explosion show. And it, they're also talking about him fighting Trevor Burbick in October. And that would be a step up in terms of him fighting somebody with some kind of re name recognition to get those notches in his belt as he moves up the heavyweight ranks. And with all due respect to Trevor, he's still got some chops left. when He, he beat Melvin Foster after coming out of uh, incarceration. And I, I've got to tell you, I was fairly impressed with that performance. And nevertheless, for a young up-and-coming heavyweight champion, a uh, uh, heavyweight contender, you want to beat, have an ex-heavyweight champion on your record. Rock needs to keep using that jab. He's playing young a little bit cheap here in a sense. 
figuring that Young is not going to offer him much of an offense. He's got to keep those hands up and keep the jab moving. Young has eight knockouts to his credit. The last one, though, was back in 1992 against Cedric Sims, stopping him in one round. And you see the legs already going under Mark Young as Rock pins him against the ropes and the overhand right. Standing eight count in effect here in Louisiana and being employed. Jenks Morton giving a signal, telling Rockman to go to the body. And he does, throws Ooh. it right, right into the side of Mark Young. Young, though, keeps his hands pinned up in his head. Rockman came upstairs, the hands were still there. Under 20 seconds to go in round number one, we're scheduled for eight. Get ready for an uppercut, Arnie, when Young leans in. Another good body shot to the right side. And you see Mark's hand starting to drop a little bit to try to protect those the ribs. In the Round two. Round number two, we're scheduled for eight. That's Haseem the Rock Raman in the black shorts, undefeated, up and coming heavyweight, 15 and 0, 13 knockouts, trained by Jinx Morton. And Mark thing Young, we, he's in the blue shorts with the white stripe. We heard Jinx say between rounds, don't get lazy with the jab, which Rock definitely was. Coming out with a much peppier left hand in the second round. You can see certain things though that he hasn't learned. He tried to hook off the jab, but it's a lazy hook it off was the a jab. Very, no snap behind it. And a little bit too wide. Good tried overhand open. right again though on Young. Um, Young is picking off some of those shots with his gloves. Some are definitely landing. And now Rock teeing off as he has him pinned. Mark Young surviving the onslaught thus far from the Still young heavyweight from Baltimore, Maryland. Still a lot of time, though, to go here in round number two. Good right to the body again. That's been the best punches thus far in the fight for Rockman. Mark just does not have any snap on his punches, can't get any leverage. Really not a threat offensively, and not much of one defensively either. Well again, with a 14 and 30 record and eight knockouts, and the last one coming back in 92, I think they knew that. They big fights with Jesse Ferguson right here on Heavyweight Explosion in September. Good overhand right, he's got Young rocking. Look for another step in by the referee for a standing eight. Young thought about going down to one knee. Still over a minute to go in round number two. We're scheduled for eight. I tell you what, Rock landed five right hands and Mark Young is still standing. Well, Zelko Maravic had Young out in six. Shannon Griggs had him out in six. Adelson Rodriguez took him out in seven. Six rounds with Jeremy Williams. Greg Page in six, Alex Stewart in six, he hangs around. George Foreman, he went seven rounds with. Mark Young stays there. As the expression goes, takes a licking, keeps on ticking. And that's why he still uses a journeyman club fighter. He will try, he will give an effort, and that's what he's doing here. A lot of guys in his position, believe me, would have laid down by now. Went eight rounds with Quick Tillis way back in 1986. His pro career began in June of 83. Rockman began in December of 94. Rock went away from the body a little bit. He needs to get Young to drop those hands. As we end round number two, this is scheduled for eight. Morton thinks that Mark Young's had enough. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if he would like to see this fight stop where it is. He keeps looking into the corner of Mark Young, and it looks like we're going to have a stoppage. Mark Young is either quitting his corner or the fight's going to stop. Wow. Well, we'll go up to Mark Biro. He's the man with the answer and find out. Ladies and gentlemen, the blue corner retires before the start of the third round. The winner officially by technical knockout in round three. Haseem the Rock Rockman. Rockman. Well, we're going to get to see Haseem Rock Rahman.
in a much more competitive situation on our next heavyweight explosion show. When he takes on Jesse Ferguson, if we take a look at Mark Young, nevertheless, Rock Rahman improves the 16-0. That's his 14th knockout. A wise move, I think, on the part of Mark Young, John, to sit there after round number two. He was taking a pounding. I guess he, I guess he rethought about what I said about hanging in there and being a tough guy. He decided uh, discretion was a better part of valor, as they say. All right, and for those of you who happened to tune in earlier, we've had a lot of great fighters here in heavyweight.